Happy Magic Monday. Hi everyone, how are you? Let me know you're here in the chat. Let me know where you're zooming in from. Let me know what you're sipping and definitely, definitely let us know if you're new. Welcome to Magic Monday. It is going to be a glorious night. Hi, Tina. How are you? Hi, Lori. Sipping Pixie in Irvine. Hi, Tara in Minnesota. Paula in New Jersey. Mary Barr in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Sipping Child's Pose. Kimberly's in Earl Grey. Um, in Earl Grey. In Tennessee, sipping Earl Grey. Elena in New Jersey, drinking Aquamarine Dream. I love it. Hi, Don in Denver, Carly, hello again. Um, Sarah in Manhattan Beach drinking Oracle. Oof, I almost made Oracle, but I'm having the star. Um, this is a mock-up, not even real. Um, and I have, uh, let me see, look how pretty the star is. If any of you guys have had the star, this blend is a perfect fall blend, even though I formulated it in late spring for immunity when everybody was getting COVID. But what I love about this too, is you can take the jujubes out and eat them. <laughs> they make a great snack and so good for you. Cool, hi Serafina, hi Heather in Brooklyn. Sipping lovers with Scottish Heather honey today. Mm, I love that. Sherry in New York City, Mary Farrelly in Florida. Hi love, Kathy in Tucson. Sylvia with Lucid Dreams in Frederick, Maryland. Leanne in Spokane, Washington, sipping Symbiosis. Liz and Barron in Chicago, good to see you. Uh, Christine in San Francisco. Daisy Punk Rocker from Long Beach. Hi, Honey Bunny. We missed you at T School. I look forward to seeing you next time. Shannon in Maine, sipping Pisces. Margie in Orlando, Florida. Oof, look at all of you guys. It sounds like a poem. It sounds like a glorious gathering. What a dream it is to have all of you here for Magic Monday. What a dream it is for me to be gathering women and a few brave men from all over the United States and all over the world for a cup of tea. The vision of Magic Hour is to create ceremonies of connection and to create renewal and self-care rituals together so that we can be pouring from a full cup and living with a full cup. And uh, I had a very busy weekend, worked all weekend again. Um, all day Saturday, I worked on a new blend, the October tea, it's the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm going to be in Egypt in October. So this tea is, um, this is a mock-up, but this tea is so glorious. Look how beautiful she is. Absolutely stunning. The art on this one is just mind-blowing. And then after that, I've got Queen of Cups coming, which, um, let me go get my phone. I'll show you the artwork. Hold on one second. I'm so terrible at keeping secrets. I'm the one who gets the gifts at for early for Christmas and gives them to everybody early. But look at this artwork for the Queen of Cups. Look at her. Oh, so gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? It's going to be beautiful. So we are we are going to round out our tarot collection with quite the incredible artwork and the divine feminine. She is stunningly gorgeous, agreed. And she's going to be a um, burdock, uh, a red clover burdock berry tea. And then the um, Wheel of Fortune, this is a really, really yummy. I'm not gonna give this one away just yet, but it is, um, it is uh, so divine and sumptuous. It's, a, uh, it's an orange spice. Anyway, it's really good though, but really good. And then um, I've got saffron cinnamon water I'm drinking with a little bit of agave um, powder and mm, we're gonna get started on our tea ceremony. And then we have a really fun giveaway today. Really fun. I'm giving away three things. So you guys will wanna stick around for that. Um, and then we'll get started on our tea ceremony and we'll do our reading, okay? As you can tell, I didn't change into my ceremony gear. I'm still wearing my casual street clothes. Had a long weekend. Did tea ceremony or tea blending class yesterday for Portia, which was really fun. 
and those women loved it. And then we're gonna go over here and pop down in our tea ceremony space with my sunflowers and my sound bowls. <sighs> Allow yourself to sit. What a weekend, what a week it's been. We've had ant attacks and washer and dryers going out and flooding and 118 degrees, 113 degrees today, it's only 109. What a week, a huge, huge, huge amount of patience needed and allow yourself to land. No matter what happened to you this week, we can rebirth now. No matter how many times you lost your patience <laughs> or felt yourself um, wondering why you work so hard, <laughs> now you get to rebirth. Every moment is a chance to be born again. Every moment is a chance to decide again on how you want to feel, how you want your life to look, how you want your days to be, what you want your thoughts to be centered around. Allow yourself simply to sit and relax in the knowingness that this moment is yours. This moment is your moment to renew yourself. Allow yourself to breathe and settle in. Allow the busyness of the day the busyness and the business of the day to fall away. Allow yourself to be still. Allow yourself now to feel a, a gratitude. Generate a gratitude in your heart. Gratitude for being alive. Gratitude for the people around you a thankfulness for your breath, a thankfulness for this tea that we're about to have together. Feel the gratitude in your heart, warming and expanding your heart. Visualize your heart as a beautiful, beautiful green emerald. Visualize it cooling and relaxing and growing that beautiful radiant green throughout your entire chest, through your shoulders, down your arms, through your hands. And if you have your cup in your hands, into your cup. Allow yourself to feel the regenerative energy of your heart center, because that is what connects you to all of us. The oneness of humanity, compassion, grace, appreciation, love, joy, is all generated from your heart. Allow yourself to feel that energy now as you breathe into your heart, allowing that energy to infuse your cup. Allow yourself to be regenerated with appreciation, love, gratitude, joy. Allow the feeling of appreciation to wash over you, through you, and into your cup. Infusing your cup with a life force that is beyond the herbs and spices, beyond the camellia sinensis leaves, beyond the sound of my voice, beyond the scent of the tea, beyond the flavor of the tea, beyond the chat, beyond your location, your neighborhood. Feel yourself being regenerated by an energy that is beyond anything that is visual, or sensual in nature. Your connection to divine oneness, your connection to God, your connection to nature 
Allow it to permeate your heart and allow your body to regenerate with a few deep breaths as we sit in a moment of stillness and awareness. Now simply take a couple quiet sips of your tea, just appreciating the quality of what it feels like to be still, to be alive, to be breathing, to be peaceful. Allow the tea to fill your palate, flavor, enjoyment. Sweetness. Spice. Flowers. Fruit. The wonders of soil, the wonders of farmers efforts, the wonders of my staff who blend them together for you, with you in mind, all the botanicals, all the beauty, all the love. And now feel the quality in your body of what it feels like after you've had a few minutes to relax. A few minutes to be heart-centered. A few minutes to be mindful of tea time and togetherness. How did you feel when you sat down for this moment? And how do you feel now? Do you feel more spacious? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel brighter? Give yourself a little hug. Give yourself a little appreciation, a little bow. Give yourself a moment to just appreciate yourself for taking this time to do something so good for yourself that it has a ripple effect for everyone around you. Caring for yourself, loving yourself, nourishing yourself, regenerating yourself. What a powerful move. What a quiet internal revolution. What a way to increase your serotonin and dopamine naturally. What a way to slow down the clock and expand time. What a way to become younger with each moment versus spent. You're allowed to refill your kettle and refill your cup anytime you choose, simply by saying, I'm going to step out and have a magic moment. I'm going to step out and have a cup of tea. I'm going to go within, spend some time with my soul, and regenerate. very precious.
was telling Ashley before I jumped on here, I always need Magic Monday more than you do. I very selfishly set this up so that I would do it for myself too. Oh, cheese. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> I have to turn off my FaceTime. I don't know how it got turned off. Okay, I'm gonna put that on too, not just. <laughs> how does that even happen? How do you even do that? How does that even work? How do you make that never happen again? Oh my God, we are so plugged in. <laughs> there you go. Hurry up and relax. You're super, yeah, everyone can, everyone has access to you. Even on your, even in your meditation room, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, let's do the reading for this week, and then I'll do our giveaway. That's so funny. I've been um, finishing furnishing the tea salon um, with a lot of uh, really cool, unexpected items from Facebook Marketplace. So um, that was. Facebook marketplace, probably. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull a card for us. And how many of you guys have received, have any of you received the emperor yet this month? The emperor is delicious. Ooh, fee, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all right, not a light reading, dang. Okay, so here we go. So, I got two things, right? So, you ready for this? Okay. I got the death card, right? I got transformation. And um, with that one, I got light. So, transforming the, um, the darkness into the light what do the uh, lessons of transformation have for us, right? With every ending is a beginning. And when we transform something from darkness into light, we are able to uh, create alchemy. We're alchemizing venom into nectar. We're alchemizing uh, poison into honey. We are taking something that might be getting handed to us and we're transmuting it into into something useful okay so it's so interesting i got this card um and this angel card because this morning i was reading one of the sermons of my teacher and um uh and it said that there was that that there is no uh, there's no master that hasn't had to master all the darker, darkest aspects of the self. So our, our selfishness, our egos, our um, inability to share, our, our lack of virtue is what leads us to mastery. And this month, the, the, the card of the month is the emperor and the emperor is for mastering. So when you look at the emperor, he's mastered time. He's mastered time and he's mastered yin and yang, the dark and light and the balance between the two. And so when you look at transformation in the death card, and then you look at transforming into light, you're really, what you're doing is you're transforming your the density of your of your um, things you need to learn into the light body. And, the, and the, the emperor really is the master of this because it's the number, he's the number four as well, where he has become the master of, um, of his um, manifestations and destiny. And you cannot manifest without knowing your shadow fully. You cannot rebel against a system unless you've mastered it to a degree. You have to actually master uh, balance, focus, participation, contribution, 
stability, all of those things you have to master in order to grow. And so that's this, um, the card for this month. And it's, it's really interesting to get the transformation card as um, I'll be teaching uh, with this month's membership class about mastery in um, the, the emperor mastering uh, manifestation. And so um, that is uh, what we got for this week. It's kind of amazing. I even tried to pull a second card thinking, do I want to go there right now? No. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll, we're going there. <laughs> Transformation, the death card. And in our tarot collection, I did not design that card. Um, not that I avoid death because of course we all die a little every day, but because I decided that um, for this one year subscription, I would focus on the cards I felt had the most transformation for us. And um, while I finish that deck over time, um, of course we will have um, those uh, those cards come into play. So yeah, we don't sell it yet. We will as soon as we um, finish all the cards, but each card um, design costs me about $2,000 in illustrative fees from my artists. They're very worth it but they're just they take a while and they're they're kind of expensive so um if you were going to do a full deck at two thousand each that's a hundred and something thousand dollars so that's a little out of my price range right now but not forever we'll just do them as we can afford them yeah yeah so okay i have some giveaways tonight i do it's pretty exciting are you guys ready <laughs> Okay, cool. I have some new little goodies and they come in several, um, several colors and there's three of them here. So I'm going to be giving away three of these and um, I'm going to go ahead and open each one of them up and show you. And um, these are the new colors of our classic tea bowl. So this is the classic matcha bowl. And then I just had um, some new colors made. So I made this gorgeous cream colored one. I thought this would be so good for holiday and fall harvest. And it's just so, so, so beautiful. So there's a cream one. Then there is a pink one. Oh, look, and we're making new heart uh, strainers also. Look how cute that is. This isn't being given away because this is a prop. These are being made for Christmas, but um, this we will give away tonight. This is pink. Look how cute. So we've got cream, we've got pink, and they say magic hour on the bottom. These are handmade for us by artisans in China who are really lovely. They actually make these outside. We have a video of them being made on our YouTube channel and um, they're so beautiful. And then there's another one, um, another color, and this one is purple. Look how cute, we have a purple one. So we have purple, these aren't on the website yet, they will be soon, but we've got purple, pink, and cream. And I don't know, you guys might want all of them someday. I am keeping all of them. So you've got your black one, your purple. Um, anyway, I just love making pretty things and I love color. So I've got these going. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a giveaway for these. So we're gonna give away three of these and I'm gonna take a sip of my star tea. Mm. And um, then we will give three of these away. Okay. So for three winners, you guys can choose what color you want. Okay, so say your color in the chat and um, you will, for the three winners, you'll email your addresses to ashley at clubmagichour.com. Ashley at clubmagichour.com. Mm. Okay, let me, let me get started. Okay, so. I'm gonna do the first one goes to Michelle Deanne. Michelle Deanne, uh, you are the first winner. Put which color you want and your address. Send it to Ashley at clubmagichour.com. For the second winner, let's see. Rena Lipari, who says she wants pink. 
Rena Lapari. Yay. Okay, and let's find a third winner, winner. Okay, and Jessica Shigley. Jessica Shigley, Shigley. Okay, so Rena, Jessica, and I uh, can't remember the other one. Uh, you guys email your address to uh, ashley at clubmagichour.com and you get to win these. Aren't these fun? And these feel so good in your hands. They're so solid and sturdy. They're all totally handmade and they're dried um, in a kiln. And then after they're painted, they're actually set outside to dry in the beautiful um, uh, Chinese countryside where uh, the tea is grown as well. So these are from a pure area in the countryside of really lovely people growing tea and making beautiful artisan um, artisan teaware. So I hope you enjoy them. It is uh, really from the heart of tea growers to the heart of tea lovers. And I hope your cup will continuously be filled. And um, oh, there it goes. And so um, great. So look for these on the website next week. We'll, we have a photo shoot with them on Friday. And so hopefully we'll get them up on the website next week. And um, and I think we have a few of these left already on the site. So I hope that all of you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I will see you next Monday. Don't forget the cards are transformation to the light. You're transforming the darkest parts of you into light. And so um, focus on healing, focus on loving yourself, focus on appreciating yourself and others, focus on what's good and right in the world, which is tea, love, each other, connection, and all of the things that are productive and, con and, con and create a contribution um, to our community and ourselves and each other. So we'll focus on that. All right, you guys have a glorious week. Thank you for joining Magic Monday. I appreciate you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye. <laughs>